Hello. Yes, that's right. And you must have noticed this. You must have done. Let me give you an example. Remember, uh, Defend Europe, Martin Selner purchased a ship, $56,000. Captain Pugwash, where is the ship now? What's happened? What's happened to Defend Europe? How many migrants did the ship, I can't remember its name now, stop uh, from uh, travelling from North Africa to Europe? How many did it stop? Where is the ship now? What's happened to Defend Europe? Well, exactly. Don't you see also what happens? They will change uh, the approach, tactics, uh, what methods they use, and it keeps everyone entertained. The latest one will be like, uh, as I say, Defend Europe, Martin Sellner on the high seas of the Mediterranean. Everyone's glued to YouTube and whatever, watching the latest updates. And then it changes to something else. Lauren Southern in South Africa, she's in France now, doing another video. And what happens with them videos? Well, you watch them. Then what do you do with it? You pass it to someone else. Then what do they do with it? They pass it to someone else. And what happens? Nothing. It's just bounced around the same community, the little playpen, white nationalist community uh, that's been put into this dead end, going nowhere playpen. And if it does reach those outside the white nationalist community, the already converted, well, what can they do about it? What action can they take? Well, nothing. They can't do anything, right? So you can see what's happening here, how everything changes every six months or even earlier now. Got Lauren Southern one minute in South Africa doing a video. Now she's in France. And again, what happens with these videos? You watch them and you send it to someone else. And what do they do? They send it to someone else ad nauseum, right? The latest one was the rabbi one doing the rounds where he confesses, admits, Jews are behind open borders and multiculturalism and all the usual stuff. And after you've watched it, what do you do? You pass it to someone else. Again, ad nauseum, right? And nothing happens, nothing is achieved. And all you've done is entertained yourself for an hour or two or whatever, right? And this is what's happening. You see, instead of attacking those supposedly responsible for multiculturalism, NGOs, open borders, the people you need to attack, we all need to attack, are those that shower in Parliament and those in the council chambers. We need to vote the fuckers out, which we can do. Right, we can't vote them all out. I'm not saying we can, but we can certainly vote some of them out. But yet no one's doing that. No one, no one's advocating it except me. You imagine all the time and effort put into all these videos, all the millions of man hours probably that's been watched, watching these videos, because there's plenty of them about. Imagine if that was put into just win one election, whether it's a council one or a parliamentary one. We'd be riding high again, wouldn't we? But it's not. Because our enemies don't want us there. They want us watching videos or they want us, you know, in Martin Selner's case, sailing around the Mediterranean, achieving zilch. Or watching videos about some rabbis saying Jews are behind open borders. Yeah, and what? What's that got to do with, say, where you live? Where I live now in Norris Screen, or where I've been campaigning and I stood in the council uh, elections uh, in May in Kensington or Fairfield. What... Where does that concern them? Why would they, you know, be uh, more concerned over watching that video as to what's happening in their community? Well, they wouldn't, would they? Well, of course. Book there on my left, an night stalker, Delroy Grant, a Garantophile, uh, attacking elderly pensioners uh, late at night in their beds. And um, it didn't matter whether you were a male or female, 80 or 90, you were attacked and sexually assaulted by that monster. Now, he got away with what he was doing 10 years longer than he should have done because of political correctness, right? And he reminds me of the one in the 1980s, Kenneth Erskine, the Stockwell Strangler. You know how they, got, how they caught him? It was the FBI profilers told Scotland Yard or whoever that he'll be black. It's a, mainly a black crime, that. Uh, Garantophilia, right? There's whites that commit and I'm not saying there isn't, but it's mainly a black crime apparently. And that's how they call the Stockwell Strangle as, many, as well as many uh, other ways as well. But uh, Delroy Grant there, you know, tell the victims 
uh, of those those he attacked, uh, you know, the Jews are behind open borders or uh, the NGOs or whatever. You know, uh, them people were left to the mercy of that monster because of the, those swines in Westminster, the cowards running the police force, those in council chambers. These are the people we should be attacking. These are the people we should be removing. We should be voting the fuckers out. And instead of putting all our time, effort and energy and money into unseating some of these fuckers. What are we doing? We're watching videos about some rabbi confessing that Jews are behind open borders. And then once you've watched it, what you do? You pass it to someone else. And what do they do? They pass it to someone else ad nauseum and so on and so on and so on. Now, I know you know what's going on, but yet no one, no one other than myself is, you know, speaking out about it that this has to stop we've now got to start doing something now i know why nick griffin doesn't do it because there's no money in it end of that's it period there's no euro fat check right there's no incentive right well you can have that on your conscience nick griffin you know but i'm not in this for money i'm not in this for fame how many likes on facebook youtube or whatever i'm in it because i care right also donations please don't send any more donations i've got enough now to uh, run my campaign next year in Kensington and Fairfield. I, I don't need any more of your money. I, will, I don't want to take it, right? Please, please don't send any more. I've got enough money now to buy all the literature, all the leaflets and whatever, all the petrol I need in my car to get round there, because you'd be surprised how much petrol you use, you know? Uh, so I don't need any more donations. Now, if you've got a few gold bars from the Brinks Matt Robbery in the 1980s, still under your floorboards, yeah, I'll have, I'll have some of them. Or you've been... Uh, hiding money from the tax man, rightly so. Why pay your taxes for, to this? That's showered in there. They're not even doing the job. But anyway, so if you've got any money there, you've been hiding from the tax man. Yeah, I'll have that as well. We need a headquarters. We need to get something up and running. We need big bucks. And I'm sure one day it will be coming, you know, it'll be coming my way. I'm sure it will. Trust me, it will. So any more donations, please don't, don't, don't send any more. I've, I've got enough, like I've said. I'm not in this for money. I'm in it because I care right but anyway anyway uh, so this is what's happening we're being taken down dead end alleys and dead end roads and achieving nothing all repeating the same mantra the same statements it's okay to be white yeah okay and well exactly you know go and tell the people of these communities that you know uh, are, are, are unemployed and don't have any money or food to put on the table for Christmas. They're not interested. Save the white race or we're going to be a minority in 40 years time. Most won't be here then. We've got to now start re understanding what works and what doesn't. And all that crap doesn't work. Right? People are only moved. Right? They're only interested in their own personal circumstances. Right? And if it's mass immigration that's turning their neighbourhood into a ghetto a hellhole then they'll be moved by that right if it's immigrants that are you know the the, the school where they want to put the kids in now they can't because of the migrant baby boom they've got to go to the school a bit further away they'll be moved by that same with the nhs same with doctors waiting list you've got to wait an hour or two longer now because there's that many migrants now queuing up to be uh, to see doctors or they're in the hospital with A&E waiting list, then you'll be moved by that. Sitting uh, in traffic jams for hours because there's that much traffic now on the road, you'll be moved by that. And it's the same on the London Underground. If you get on a train, you, 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 you're packed like a sardine. People will be moved by that. They're not interested in some rabbi talking about open borders and the Jews are behind it and all the usual. Assuming they are, right? They're not interested. And we're making the same mistakes day in, day out, aren't we? Let's watch another Lauren Southern video. Let's get on Red Ice Radio. or Let's do something except real politics. So when are people going to start doing real politics? Let's vote the fuckers out. It's the only way we're going to change things. It's the stars. I'm not saying it's the be all and end all. What I'm saying, it's the stars of the revolution that we need. And I believe will come. Okay, thank you.